Welcome to Steve's Kitchen. It's that time of year, the holidays are coming, where you're going to see more and more candied peel needed for recipes. It's quite expensive to buy in the shops, but very, very simple and cheap to make. So come on, let me show you how. Now you don't need as much citrus fruit as I have here, just a couple of oranges, limes and lemons would be perfectly fine. First of all, we want to get our oranges naked, so we have to get the skin off without losing any of it. I'm going to show you a little trick on how to do it. Normally I peel the oranges like this around the circumference, but today I want to go pole to pole because I want as big a piece of peel as possible. Let me show you how to do that. Now I'm going to do it with a navel orange, you can do it with the lemons or anything though. What we want to do is just take a sharp knife and you want to try and just score the skin only. So I'm going to go all the way around. Next you want a teaspoon, but not this end, we want this end. And you're going to take the blunt end of the spoon and just lay it under the skin. Now you'll feel there's a gap between the flesh and the skin and you can just follow the spoon around. Once you get the hang of it, it's quite simple. And what we're going to do is go at roughly halfway around the orange. So you've gone from here to about there. Turn the orange around and do the other side. Now, what that's going to enable us to do is to peel the whole orange skin off like that. Okay, to make this a little easier to handle, I'm just going to cut this now in half with a sharp knife and then flatten it out and what we're going to do is take one cut and just continue along the peel so we get nice long even strips of orange peel. Now I'm going to carry on and do the lemons in exactly the same way and you end up with these beautiful long pieces of peel like this. Now this is a win-win situation because you end up with this beautiful orange that you can then just pull apart and you can use this to eat or for fruit salads. I've gone for a big bowl of orange peel and lemon peels, but you could go for grapefruit, any citrus fruit you like. And I'm making quite a lot because I've got some other ideas you might want to make over Christmas with this fantastic peel. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is blanch these in boiling water just for five minutes. It removes some of the bitterness and also takes any of the wax off that might be on the peel. So I have a pot of boiling water, I'm just gonna drop the peel straight into it. Both the orange and lemon can go in at this point. Let's bring our pot back up to a boil and we just want to boil these for three to five minutes. Now those beautiful citrus peels have been bubbling away for almost five minutes now. So I'm just gonna turn the heat off. We'll take these off the stove and I don't want to keep this water now so I'm just going to strain it off. Next up we want to make a sugar solution and we want equal amounts of sugar to water and this is just to simmer the peel in to finish it off. Now I've got about a litre and a kilo of sugar here. Uh, you'd be looking for about a couple of pints, two pounds. Now I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer and let the sugar completely dissolve. If you're doing smaller batches of course you can reduce the sugar and water right down but we're doing a great big batch because the holidays are coming. When you can see the bottom of the pan like that, you've got a perfect sugar syrup. I'm gonna gently lift that orange peel and start dropping it into my sugar water. So bring the syrup back up to a boil, then we want to turn the heat right down for about an hour, maybe a little bit longer. And we're gonna let it simmer fairly aggressively, but keep an eye on it. We don't want it to boil over. And those orange peels should become a little bit translucent. Now it's been about an hour and you can see the orange peel has become fairly translucent. Most of the water has evaporated. I'm gonna turn the heat off now. And whilst the syrup cools down, we'll leave this orange peel in there for a little while and it'll just continue to cook through a little bit more. Once the syrup has cooled down a little bit, what I want to do is gently take these pieces of peel out and we're just gonna lay these out to cool down on a cooling rack and let some of the sugar drip off. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can deal with the peel now. You can let it dry here on the tray and then roll it over in sugar. What I like to do is just warm an oven and warm, I'm looking about 80 degrees Celsius, 175 Fahrenheit, and I just pop these in for about an hour or so until the candy peel has become lovely and firm. I don't really want it coated in extra sugar, and that's the way I like to use it when I'm baking. Now, if you have an oven that doesn't go down to those low temperatures, you can just turn it on until it gets a little bit hot, then turn it off, leave the light on, and just let the candied peel dry out. My peel has been in the oven for an hour and it's just dehydrated a little bit. Just come in and look how beautiful this is. Just the tiniest bit sticky. This is supple, beautiful and perfect. Now, as I say, some people roll it in sugar. I'm not gonna do that because I want this for some great recipes, particularly my Italian panettone that we'll be making 
just before Christmas. So look out for that video. And also these are great if you just dip them in a little bit of chocolate and set them and you can make little gift boxes up. They taste fantastic. Now I should just say a lot of recipes take the pith off of the candy peel. Don't do it. It's so good once it's been candied. Just look at this. It's soft, it's buttery, it's citrusy. It is delicious. But is that all you made, Steve? Well, no, you saw how much candied peel that I had. Look over here. Here is the rest of that beautiful candied peel on a plate. I've got loads of it and some that I've diced up, which is gonna go in that panettone we spoke of. So for the smallest amount of money and a little bit of effort, you've got this great big bunch of candied peel that would cost a fortune in the shops and you've made it with something you normally throw away. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. Love to hear your comments down below. And if you make candied peel and if you get some limes or some grapefruits to do it with, send me some photographs across to at Steve's Kitchen or hashtag Steve's Kitchen on social media. Be good and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. And I'm stuck to you, but I'm cozy and I don't wanna wiggle loose. I don't wanna